Welcome back to Real Life. We're still here with Salome Oro, singer, songwriter, music pastor, and advocate of anti-child trafficking. So before the break, we were talking about how these people operate, yeah. you know, and, and it's very sad to know and very shocking that, like you mentioned earlier, Cebu is actually one of the major mm -hmm. places where, you know, child trafficking takes place. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, like, actually, it's very shocking news to me personally, even. Yes. So my question earlier was, I couldn't, I couldn't really, I couldn't imagine the thought of a mother, you know, selling her own child for that reason. I, have, I remember um, reading in the news that there was this place in Cordova where yes. they arrested uh, people, mm -hmm. um, you know, engaging in child trafficking, where the children were asked to do, you know, sexual acts in front of the camera mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So... And, and you never think that it's really that serious until you find out that a lot of other people are doing that in many different places in Cebu. Because yes. like in the news today, like every day, every day you know? Texas, every day. Oh my goodness. I mean, well, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that these people are getting caught, mm -hmm. you know? But what happens to these children, like when they get kidnapped from school, for example, mm -hmm. um, and, and they're, so of course they stop schooling because they have a new job, which is like yeah. standing in front of the camera. And what happens to them? Like, do their parents look for them? Of course, they have to look for their children once they get lost. I, what, so they're being housed in a, a certain house? I don't know if you well, know Well, I it. believe IJM mentioned that sometimes they are transported to another destination. You know, they don't what? stay here. They, they're transported even abroad, you know, like... Wow. like they go to Cambodia, or they go to Vietnam, or, because these are very high uh, human trafficking areas in Asia. And some, they're even brought to other, you know, further nations. And they really are, they become like prostitutes. They grow up like that, and they think it's normal. You know what I mean? Oh some God. of them, that is worse, there are, they are killed to get their body parts. Because their organs are supposedly sold. I don't know how that works, but that's what I heard. Wow. Yeah, I saw that in the news also that they remove the organs of these children. I don't know. It's sick. I mean, to me, it's really sick. You know, mm -hmm. I cannot imagine. How can you do that to a child? Now, when you're an adult, Alexis, and you want to engage in things like that, that's another story. But when it's a child, how, how can you? No, wala pa malay oh, yeah. Like, who is not making decisions on their, on their own, own? You know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so about the song, mm -hmm. um, so can you, can you tell us a little bit about how the lyrics goes, or maybe if you want to sing it, like so, some you special... You don't mind if my voice is kind of... <laughs> okay, I heard you sing earlier, and you said that you had something going on with your nose, yes. but it sounded like it's perfectly normal. Let me see, can I remember the lyrics? Huh? Because this song, when I sing it, I... It's not something you want to sing all the time because it's so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a happy song, but it's really an awareness song. Mm -hmm. In one of my, let me see. Um, Hear the cry of the children, so unsafe, so terrified. Even mothers sell their children. Oh, so how can they survive? Will you dare to be their voice? Will you hear their fearful plea? Hear the cry of the children. Let your voice be their defense. So that's exactly what you're doing now. You know, um, being the voice of these children. Little voice, one yeah. of the many. Uh -huh. I also found out, Alexis, that there are actually many groups mm -hmm. who are doing something about it. Yeah. And even in America, you know, we started praying. We found out, you know, the likes of Angelina Jolie are are also championing things like this. Yeah. And who else? Um, all those famous people. They're just mm -hmm. because when they hear about it, and they have children. It's like it's gross. I mean, what are they, why are yeah. they doing this? Raising money. Yeah. And then. Aside from that, uh, on, on our Christian perspective, we are also going to be, in the future, in the making is a, 
is a ranch or an orphanage for these children who are abused, where mm -hmm. they can start a new life, mm -hmm. where there's going to be inner healing. They'll be, they'll be taken from there, you know, where they come from, and they'll be taken somewhere where mm -hmm. it's really far from this maddening thing, and they're mm -hmm. going to re rebuild their lives and find themselves and have a new new life. That's our that's our part. Aside from making noise and mm -hmm. you know in whatever way through art through music, mm -hmm. um, asking more people to become a part of it. The public, you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so thankful for this this opportunity. Really, I'm so thankful because mm -hmm. I can hear it. Even I'm riding the taxi. I hear already in radio stations that they're talking about it. Mm -hmm. So and that's at great. least we're all doing mm -hmm. something about it. Mm -hmm. and that's the whole point. Yeah. Sal, you are the Angelina Jolie yes. of Cebu. I didn't that, but anyway. <laughs> you are the Angelina Jolie no. of Cebu. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, you know, that's very great that we're doing that. Because the thing is, um, about human trafficking, um, we've heard about this many times, yeah. you know, and, and we always think that these are, you know, grown-up women, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being promised a job abroad. Yes. You know, and then when they get there, they're prostitutes, mm -hmm. you know? And... I mean, that's sad, but, but now that we know that actual children are involved, yes. that, that makes the... Sadder. Yeah, you know, it makes the situation worse, it's, you know? I know, I can feel it from you now. You're saying, well, I'm shocked. Yeah, okay, but yeah. Do, do, you, have, do you have children of your own? No. You, you told me that you have a four-year-old granddaughter. I have, I have, I, they call it Apo here, but it's actually grand, grand nephews and nephew and niece. Mm -hmm. One four-year-old and one seven-month. Old. Mm -hmm. And they're so innocent, you know. Mm -hmm. They they say hi to everybody, a stranger and all that. They're that gullible. Yeah, that's true. And I've become a lot more protective when we're in the malls and mm -hmm. all that because I've heard one here in Cebu, here in the city, mm -hmm. where the mother was just paying, I think, in one of the bookstores. I don't know which one. And while she was getting the money and paying the, the, the cashier, she turned and the kid is gone. Wow. So I, I really want mothers to be more so it happens in the malls, like in broad mm -hmm. daylight, children are getting kidnapped? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. Um, guys, do stick around because when we come back on our third segment, we're actually going to hear the song. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to show the music video for you guys to actually listen to the lyrics, you know, very clearly. So stick around for that. <laughs> 